Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Venkatesh. This is a DevOps Pro Junction YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see about what is a stickiness. So stickiness is basically, um, so for example, uh, here I have um, a diagram. You can see here, uh, here this is my load balancer and uh, there are my uh, EC2 instances. So a uh, customer will access if, uh, for example, you are taking like a customer is here and uh, he is going to access the server uh, using the uh, URL, right? So he will uh, access these servers via the load balancer. But when he want to use the same URL again and again or else uh, he is going to log in the page. So every time uh, the traffic will uh, comes to the load balancer, then it will go to the EC2 instance. So like that it will go. Now what we are going to do, we are going to enable the stickiness which is in the load balancer itself. Which means whenever the customer accessing the same uh, URL or website, it will not go and check with the EC2 instance. It will uh, check with the uh, with, uh, with the different EC2 instance, right? <clears throat> so if you see my uh, previous video, you can understand. So here is the thing. <clears throat> so this is my uh, DNS URL. I'm hitting here. There are two servers which is already running. Um, so whenever I hit my load balancer, uh, it is uh, going to uh, taking the, um, it is retrieving the things from my uh, different EC2 instance. You can see here, first time it is taking from e instance A and the second time it is taking from instance B whenever uh, the new request is comes. But when you do uh, stickiness, uh, when you enable the stickiness, uh, it will not go and check with the uh, different instance all the time. So it whenever uh, when you enable the stickiness, it will only check the particular server, uh, which means if it is initially checking with EC2 instance A, then it will check again only the EC2 instance A. It will not redirect to uh, EC2 instance B. Let's see the demo uh, for your understanding. So here is my uh, load balancer DNS, uh, DNS URL I'm hitting here. And um, so uh, for this, you have to uh, go to your target group. So here you can see I have the target group. Okay. So um, this is my target group TG1. And in my target group, uh, there are the two servers, which is e instance A and instance B. Okay. So uh, when you go to attributes here, you can see there is an option called stickiness so and this is the thing we are going to uh, enable so uh, go to the uh, uh, edit this uh, target group attributes and uh, come to target selection configuration here you can see turn on st stickiness and uh, there are two types of stickiness one is load balancer generated cookie another one is application based cookie we are going to use load balancer generated cookie here and here you have to uh, you have to do the uh, on okay you have to mention it as an cross load balancing we are going to do it as a on and once you did uh, then save the changes and um, wait for uh, 5 seconds 5 to 10 seconds so it will take an effect uh, don't go and check immediately um, so let's go to our uh, uh, DNS link here you can see uh, instance A. So now I am hitting with instance A. You can see here I am I'm, my traffic is only going to instance A. Not it is uh, redirecting to instance B. Which means uh, it, it sticked with the, the particular server and uh, it will give the more response faster. It will it will reduce your latency. So the, this is stickiness. When you do turn off, it will it will switch the traffic to uh, instance B. 
I hope this video is helpful and you understand something about stickiness. If you find this video is helpful, give thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Follow for the more videos. Thanks for watching.